If you've got a Dyson cordless vacuum cleaner, and when you come to empty it, realise that some of the dust comes back up at you, and especially if you suffer from things like allergies, then that can be quite an issue. So Deyu have come up with a solution. And the solution is a self-emptying base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this unboxed now, because I've got some rubbish that needs to be emptied from the bin of my Dyson V8, and we're going to see what it can actually do. So first of all, let's get it unboxed. See what's in all the packaging here. I'm really intrigued by this. So, pull that out. There we go. So we've got the plug first of all, got the mains lead. Not a lot of unpacking needed, so uh, I must admit, I'm not really sure where to start. But uh, there we are. So these are some of the uh, some of the wall mount installation. Because uh, what you can do is you can actually stick it onto the wall rather than using things like roll plugs to put it put it on, which for me is always going to be a bonus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all the packaging put to one side and let's start to have a look at setting it up. You get two of these within the box, so they're two and a half litre capacity bags. And I suppose some of you are thinking, well, I've, you know, I don't want a bag cleaner because bag cleaners are essentially quite old now. Uh, even if you go back, say, 15, 20 years, people are using bagged cleaners. Uh, but the main advantage of having a bag like this is that it just contains all the dust and dirt. You don't have it coming back up at you. And with a bag, that just locates in the top. So you just take that off and then the bag's just dropped in there. To install your unit on the wall, couldn't be easier. First of all, you get this template. So the idea is that you just take the, the little sticky tabs off the back. Uh, decide where you want it. First of all, you do need to make sure that as long as you're going to use it for as a storage device, because you can actually keep the vacuum on this if you want to, which is always a good idea. Uh, but what you need to do is to make sure that you can get the, the wand and the floor head within that space. So don't just put it at a lower level. It might want to go at a slightly higher level. Also, you want to make sure it's near to a power source as well. So just take the sticky labels off the back here. And what you want to do is just make sure it's nice and level. Now, I suppose ideally, You'd want to try and use a spirit level for this. Unfortunately, I've not got one here at this time, but that looks pretty level to me. Now, now that I've got that in position, you get two of these. So you get two stickers. These are uh, nailless wall hanging brackets. And really the idea is that you locate these within the squares. So just, or well, rectangles, should I say. Uh, so just pop those in there like that and just make sure they're stuck well on. And same with the second one. Put that on like that. And essentially, that is pretty much it from that side. And now we've done that, then we can just take this, take this off because we don't need that behind there. There we go. And if I just get the unit, <coughs> then just try and locate it at the back here. That's it. Absolute genius. Oh, I love that. <laughs> then the next stage, just get the mains lead and plug it in from underneath. Make sure you put your hand on top because I did just try to do one take of pussing this in and it just fell off the wall almost onto me. Anyway, so once you've got that, then just plug it into the main socket that is hopefully located nearby. Then, as far as the actual wall installation section, that is all set up. What you need to do now is put the Dyson V8 into this connector. But first of all, just pop those back then the Dyson should fit nice and snugly into there. Pop that across, and then that's completely locked in. So really the next stage is just to locate that within the main unit. 
make sure that's nice and secure. And all that happens is we would empty it as normal. So you just pull the trigger like that. And then you press a button on the other side. So it's not on this side, it's on this side around here. So I'm just gonna press this and using the thousand watt suction, what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna draw all the dust and dirt from the vacuum. So let's see how we get on. So in theory, all of the dust and dirt has come out of the vacuum cleaner now and just gone into the bag. I must admit, there is a little bit of uh, residue of dust there, but it might be as to how I've actually installed it. And of course, with a lot of the Dyson vacuum cleaners now, they do come with a lot of tools and accessories. So what Dayu have done is they've thought about that and they've given us this option to store three of the tools underneath here. Because if you want to store the vacuum cleaner there, that's perfectly fine. It will more than hold the weight of the vacuum as well as the unit at the back. And to pull the cleaner out, all you need to do is just push those clips in at the side and then just pull the vacuum cleaner out and then shut the lid. Then you're ready to carry on vacuuming. I always knew this is going to be a quick video. So I just wanted to show you the installation and how it works. Because to be honest, I was really intrigued by it. Um, first of all, if you are thinking of purchasing one of these, provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. Secondly, is this sort of thing you would use? Is this sort of thing you benefit from? Or when you open the dust container on a Dyson V8, does it not really bother you that you get some of the dust come back up at you? Secondly, is this sort of thing that you would use? Not necessarily on the Dyson V8, uh, because apparently there are more models in the pipeline. I suppose all they need to do is change this adapter to fit a lot of other cordless vacuums. Uh, but I want to know, let me know in the comments whether this is the sort of thing that you would use for your cordless vacuum cleaner. Hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Dayu self-emptying base for the Dyson V8 cordless vacuum cleaner. I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, just give us a quick thumbs up, click subscribe and leave any comments below. I do always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad about the video. If there's something that I've not done, uh, when I've done all the setup and operation of it, then let me know. Also, as I mentioned earlier, is it sort of thing you would buy and is, is it sort of thing that you benefit from? Thanks for watching.